Hi, Chris Mitchell here from Chris Mitchell Marketing. In this video, I want to show you a little bit of what's possible with the Avada WordPress theme. Now, this is a site that I built for a client uh, called MillenniumText.com. We basically use the Avada theme as the framework for building this site. We've obviously done a lot of customization to it. Uh, we haven't had to do any custom code modifications or anything like that, but we were able to work with everything that's within the current theme, which is a great thing because the last thing you want to do is have to ha have to uh, put a bunch of time and money into writing custom code and things like that. But in some cases, that is necessary depending on what features you need implemented into the site. So uh, just a quick walkthrough, basically, um, here's the home page. You can see uh, this uh, section here was generated using the, uh, the um, layer slider. It actually comes bundled with the Avada theme. Um, this was actually some demo content we uh, customized. We put in our own screenshots here for the, the uh, phone and the, uh, the laptop and stuff. But um, we did use the, the bullet point text they have with the checkpoints and stuff in this uh, little circle here with the, uh, the pricing and everything on it. You can customize this text. Um, and then we have these flippy box things. I don't know, quite know what to call this, but um, the you call them tiles, whatever you want. Um, they, I think they actually call them a flip box inside of the Avada theme. And um, we use that to create these sections. Uh, you can uh, pick your custom colors for each tile. And you can, uh, we, we created a custom image for the back of this to make a clickable link to the pricing page. Of course, I created this section with a uh, background image and a, uh, you know, a button that actually... Uh, hovers down to this section. Now one thing that I like about this Abata theme is that um, it, it, it comes uh, out of the box ready to support these uh, CSS ID tags. And what, what it does is you create an ID for this section or whatever section you want. And uh, for example, we named this ID protection plans. So um, all we had to do is basically create a, a corresponding menu item um, with, the ha with the hashtag and then they uh, protection plans at the end of it, and it links directly to the section. So that's something you can create inside the page section itself. Uh, also created these uh, pricing boxes. It's very easy to do. Uh, uses short codes, and um, as you hover over these, you can uh, you know see they they light up a different color. This section here we created using the mockup. They actually this this theme came with a uh, we used a uh, an app. I think it was either the agency theme or the app theme for this uh, demo to install the demo content and we built upon the, the website uh, on top of that demo content. So I took the mock-up here and I created a custom screenshot for the phone where it goes from broken to fix. Uh, pretty cool little feature there. Um, like I said, it comes with the, the background images with the smartphone so I had to basically just plug in this screenshot. So I took a screenshot of a broken phone and then of a fixed phone and then put them together and then created this section where it is cool little section where it goes from broken to fixed. So thought that was pretty cool. Um, all this is generated just f uh, by a text widget and then uh, of course image and then uh, we have the short code button there and then these little icons that came with this demo. Um, then we have a little testimonial section and then another background section and then a little about us section and then we have the form. Now this is generated using the contact seven uh, I mean, uh, yeah, contact seven, contact form seven uh, plugin. Basically, it just allows you to build forms, and then you can style those forms. Um, if you know, if you have basic C, uh, HTML knowledge, you can, uh, you know, create a layout like I did here, where there the boxes are aligned side by side instead of just vertically. So normally, with the default code, they give you they're aligned vertically, but I did some custom HTML modifications to that uh, that code that generates this. And it allowed me to to uh, align these horizontally, and then this one down below, and then we've got a file image upload, so people can upload their uh, screenshots of their broken device. So if you go through the whole site, you can see the flow we have here is homepage, services, protection plans, testimonials, about, and then the contact us section, and then we have a clickable button. That it's a click to call button. So if you go back to home. You can see we've got, we've got some drop-down menus as well. These go to some standalone pages. And the cool thing I like about Avada is you can create, uh, you can assign different menus to standalone pages. Um, for example, if I wanted to set a completely separate menu for this device repair page, I could. In, in, in this case, we didn't. We have the same menu 
Um, but in some cases, you might want to have a separate menu for like maybe if you have a members area or something like that where they need uh, access to different menu items than they would get on the corporate homepage, then that is totally possible with the Avada theme. Also, built these pricing tables using the table um, short codes. Very, very easy to do. Um, you can create whatever width, whatever depth that you want on these regular tables. And then um, we also uh, had these other types of tables here where I was able to enter in these. Uh, I actually used some short codes for the font awesome, which created these uh, custom check marks. Um, Avada actually comes with font awesome, but um, you can use those, uh, use the short codes in, in any part of the page you, uh, you want. But it also has a drag and drop interface so you can uh, put in custom icons and things like that. Um, if you go to the bottom, you can see we also uh, – actually, let me go back to this page. We've got another custom form that we created using Contact Form 7. And you can see we've, we've added a ton of extra fields, and we even put some check boxes there so we can collect additional, da collect additional data from the person submitting their uh, – maybe uh, a request for a quote or something like that. So um, this is just a really all-around great theme. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any more questions or need help with your WordPress development or need a custom quote, uh, feel free to visit my website at chrismitchellmarketing.com. And please like, share, and comment on this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.